Let's get to the point. Your monthly market report from the Reno Sparks Association of Realtors. I'm Doug McIntyre, President. This month's report is brought to you by Caliber Home Loans at Home at Last. Let's get started with a quick look at the local real estate market. Let's get to the point. The July median price at $389,000 is up 2% from June and up 10% from a year ago. July unit sales at $555 are down 7% from June and down 17% compared to July 2017. July new listings are down 13% at $690 compared to June and up 4% from one year ago. The Reno market is a seller's market at two months supply of inventory. Now it's time for the monthly economic minute with Elliot Eisenberg. Elliot is a nationally acclaimed economist and the author of the blog Econ70. Elliot, the housing market is no longer booming as it did. Is that a concern? That's a great question and I'm really not concerned about this phenomenon at all because the rest of the economy is doing very, very well. Unemployment is now at a 50-year low, manufacturing is doing very well, and GDP in Q3 looks to be well above 3%. Moreover, our economy is no longer nearly as tied to housing as it once was. Back in 05 or 06, the housing boom, existing sales peaked out at about 7 million over 7 million, and new starts peaked out at over 2 million. Now those numbers are down by 25% and 35% respectively, whereas the overall economy has grown by 25% since, so we're just less reliant on housing. In addition, over the last year, year and a half, existing sales have been pretty flat. New housing starts have been pretty flat. So the existing GDP growth that we're experiencing has been done absent a contribution from housing. So if housing goes down a little bit, it's not gonna really matter. What's going on in the housing market is really unique to the housing market. The rest of the economy is strong. That's it for this month. See you next month. Thank you, Elliot. That's good information and it is interesting what little impact housing has on today's gross domestic product. Joining me now is Angelica Reyes, 2018 President-Elect of the Reno Sparks Association of Realtors. This is our segment, A Closer Look. Angelica, you've been doing research on year-to-date sales activity. Tell us what you have found. Thank you, Doug. Using market insights, the tool provided to the members of the Reno Sparks Association of Realtors, I was able to create this chart. The chart shows the historical year-to-date sales for the past 10 years. Typically, unit sales peak during the summer months, and then the market slows in the fall and winter months. Year-to-date sales in 2018 are down 6% from 2017. I recently heard the comment that unit sales are dropping under the weight of pricing. The Reno Sparks market, with a record high medium price of $389,000, seems to fit that comment. When you factor in pricing and the seasonal trend experienced in the Reno Sparks market, we can anticipate that unit sales may not reach 2017 levels. We'll continue to keep an eye on this trend. Back at you, Doug. Thank you, Angelica. And now, let's put it all together. The Washoe County medium price is at $389,000, up 10% compared to July of 2017. Unit sales for the month of July were at 555, down 17% from July of 2017. Year-to-date sales for 2018 are down 6% compared to the same period 2017. During the month of July, there were 690 new listings. New listings have been trending up since December, but are down 13% from June. Year-to-date new listings are 1% down compared to the same period 2017. Year-to-date 2018, new listings totaled 4,608. Days to contract for July are at 37. In the price range of 300 to 400,000, where the highest volume of sales occurred in July, the days to contract are at 33 days. That's our To The Point report for August. Talk to your local Realtor for details in your neighborhood. Tune in next month for the latest To The Point.